Hey guys, what's up? This video is going to show you how to get GPS phone and get GPS phone ROMs on any firmware 2.0.2 or, uh, sorry, any firmware. It doesn't really matter which one. Even 2.0.2, which is the one I'm doing it on. Obviously, you're going to need to have a jailbroken iPod touch. And let's go. Let's see where we do this. You're still going to want to open your internet browser. So you can open that up. Okay. Once you're here, you have to go to this website. I'll have the link in the description. And you have to download the GBA BIOS bin from it. Once you've done that, you should unzip it using whatever program you want. I use a program called Power Rod Driver since I'm on Vista and Vista doesn't ever have its own unzipping program. And you should get this to GBA BIOS right here. Okay, then you want to SSH into your iPod. Okay, let me just go back a couple of times. Um you just log out and log back in actually so you can understand. So open up one SCP or whatever FTP client you use. So uh one second. The IP address is where you type in your IP address where it says host name. To find your IP, go to settings, Wi Fi on your iPod and connect to the and the little the Wi Fi that you're connected to. A little blue arrow next to it and your IP address is right on that page. Okay, so once you've done that, username is root, password is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, no, no caps, all lowercase, click login. Uh oh, what's going on here? One second. Not responding. Sorry about this. Okay, so click login, and there you go. Now you're going to be in here. Sorry about that. Now what you're going to want to do is... Uh, Make sure you have the GBA BIOS bin on your desktop unzipped. It's right here, the one I'm going over. Okay, and make sure you have that somewhere you can drag it in. So, leave that alone, and now you're going to want to go to um, uh, root. Go with the slashes and abbreviations in it. Go to applications. You might get an error. Click OK. Go to the drop down menu and go to stash. Now you should see this applications folder here. Or find a way to get your applications folder if you already know how to SSH and click on it. Now, what you want to do is sure you have GPS phone installed on your iPod Touch. Your iPod obviously has to be jailbroken. And it, uh, to do this, you can just go in Cydia, do all the new necessary updates you have to to get GPS phone, it'll be there. And once you've done that, you're going to drag the GBA Biospin into GPS phone. I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again, but drag it just. Drag it right over and let it drop in. Once you're done that, click on GPS phone. Scroll down to where GBA BIOS bin is. It should be at the bottom somewhere. Right click properties and make sure it says, yours might say, my offer this, 644, but make sure it says 755. Once that's done, or you can make it say 0755. Once that's all done, you can X out of that. Just go back to it and make sure. It says 755. There you go. Now you can just click the back button, this one right here, as many times as you want to get back here. And now you're going to go to var, var Mobile Media ROMs and leave it. Oh, and leave it at this menu right here. Now you're going to go to this website. I'll have the link in the video description again, and it will look like this. One second. Let's get back to it. Okay. It, uh, one second. It'll look just like this. These are all the G these are all the ROMs you can get on your iPod. So you can pick whichever one you want. I'll find one that I like, or just one random one. One second. Okay. For example, I'll just do Mario Advanced. I already have that. Um. I'll do Top Gear, click on it, it'll be like this, and then click is it where it says DL, click that, scroll down, and click Q Share or 2, this is just where you're going to download it from, you get this page, click Free, okay, and scroll down to the bottom page, where you see your download link, click it, and save it to your disk if you can, okay, or save it to your desktop. Here, mine's gonna be right here. 
before we finish downloading. Once that's done, you can use your unzipping program to unzip it. I use a program called RR Driver. It's really good for Vista because you can unzip or dot raw or dot whatever files you want. And then you get this folder. Okay, now you want to go to this. Go to back to here where you have this open. And you can just drag it right into the G GBA folder. Click copy. It's making it depending on how big the ROM is. Shouldn't take that long. 20%, 30%. It's almost done now. Skip a second. And I guess I'll come back when it's done downloading. Okay, now it finished. And you want to go to your iPod now and respring it or restart it. So you can just respring it, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll click respring. And just wait for it to restart. You hear that little sound that you might have just heard. Show with the dogs barking in the background. Don't worry about it. 